Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode in our Let's Play series. And as you saw in the title, we're gonna get today a block that's so rare that only 8 people in the world have. Well, actually I will be the 8, so only 7 people in the world have so far. And you might be asking, what block is that though? Is it a, some kind of a crazy command block or whatever? No. The block was under your nose the whole time, or under my nose. <laughs> it's this netherrack block. But Togi, why is this netherrack block so special? Everyone has this. Uh, netherrack is one of the easiest blocks to get in the game. Well, but only 8 people in the world have it, the 20 million block of netherrack. Uh, so, yeah, this is what we are going to get today. There it is. Netherrack number 20 million. Easy clap. Let me actually get uh, anvil here. So we can rename this. The Netherrack 20 million. Easy clap. There we go. That was it. If you were wondering if this was a clickbait, yes, that, that was just it. You know, it, it, it took me thousands of hours to do this joke, but it was worth it, right? It's it's very funny, right? You are laughing. You no, know, you already clicked off the video. It's fine. Let's go <laughs> uh, show the updates we have done in the world so far. Okay, we are here in the end to show one of the updates here, one of the progress updates that we have done. That is this. We have uh, the new arrows, the new tip of the arrows with the four new potion effects. And how did I got them? Uh, you can craft those by brewing potions, but because the potions you need for that, you'll see. Dragon's Breath, and I don't want to spawn the dragon for obvious reasons here. I don't want my storage to be destroyed. The way I get it then is by trading with Fletchers, which uh, I had already all the arrows, but now that they added four new arrows, I breed more villagers, got some uh, new villagers here, and I think, yeah, these ones are the new arrows. We charge it. Pulsing, uh, this one is weaving and infested. And then we got some other extra arrows that I already had. And I even left some villagers here in case they add new bottom effects, new arrows. We can uh, trade with them. And I want in the future to do a mini game in a trial chamber that we can only use the arrows and the, the mace to fight uh, the trial chamber. So arrows probably I'm gonna use it with a crossbow or something, right? I, I think it will be cool, but of course first we have to finish the minigame. We are currently working on the Vault Hunters minigame. And another update is here in Octantlis. Well, we had the only three furnaces here, or three smokers, is melting kelp. So I had to do a bunch more just to be faster. It's actually not too fast, it's clogging up the crafter here. Uh, but it's fine, you know. It will uh, create a bunch of uh, kelp for us. And still, as you can see, it's still... Uh, it's faster, but it's not fast enough. We still have a lot of kelp to smelt and more growing there that we can harvest. But yeah, it, it's... Uh, a cool kelp block farm, I guess. And another thing is, uh, a few episodes ago, you were working on this. Uh, here, this is the the farm that we... Well, uh, this is a slime farm that has four slime chunks here. And this is actually the first level, level 39, that spawn uh, slimes. So, I guess if I fly... A little bit here because I was too close, wasn't spawning anything. But if I fly a little bit here, see, my slime just spawned. 
in the last or not last episode, a couple of episodes ago, we used the portals of infested uh, infested portals, and you can see there is some alleys drowning there. So those alleys hurting would spawn more uh, silver fish, and then we throw the oozing portal, and the silver fish die and spawn more slimes. <laughs> But I want to try to use the same mechanic, uh, but instead now I want to use the weaving portal to see if we can uh, farm cobwebs here. So if I get in here and throw a infested portal here. Um, yeah, the problem is the golem will kill some of these lime, uh, some of the uh, silver fish, but it, it's fine. I think we are producing more silver fish than the iron golem can kill. And uh, I left my my shears here. So if I throw this here, you can when the golem kills the silver fish, it drops the the cobweb. So. So oh, maybe it's a little bit hard to see because the, the floor is uh, also white in here with the iron blocks. But yeah, we can use some of this here. Oh my god, I'm dying actually. Can I kill some sewer fish? Oh, I guess I didn't think that when I infected. I didn't. Uh, through the pottering all the silver fish, some spawned after it through the pottering, but yeah, it, it takes one cobweb to brew three pottings, and as you can see, we used the one pottering and made the way more than one cobweb already. Obviously, there is much uh, better ways to do this, you know, in a more controlled environment, I guess. <laughs> this is a little bit uh, chaotic, but yeah. I guess cobwebs are are now renewable. <laughs> I, I used to like really cringe when people uh, broke cobwebs with a uh, sword because cobwebs are not renewable. I guess I'm the joke now. <laughs> this is why I'm doing. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, another thing we could do is drop a TNT there. The problem with dropping TNT with the weaving potion is if there is a bunch of silver fish in one spot, uh, not all of them will drop it because if you want to drop a cobweb or spawn a cobweb in that block, you can spawn cobwebs in the same block. <laughs> it's kind of a way to killing them with uh, TNT. I don't even know if they are still infected. Actually, you know what they could do. Ah, okay. Try to get out of here. <laughs> there we go. I could just get another pot, you know. It's so uh, cheap that it's fine. Mm. Let's try to attract it most of them here. There we go. You know what would be a good idea if I threw a poison pot on and then they die for one hit, I can just come here with the shears and kill them. Oh my god, they are getting so many blasts. <laughs> this is kind of like a mini game, like a uh, spliffy, but <laughs> the opposite. Instead of breaking the floor, you are creating the floor, and if you step on the cobweb, you're probably gonna die because the silver fish is gonna get you. Oh boy, I'm gonna die. Fine. And also, 
This would be a really good way to do an easy uh, XP farm, I guess. Right, that you can do in pretty much anywhere. You just oh, I'm gonna die. You just bring an alley and uh, do something like this, infest the alley, and just create a bunch of silverfish. Oh my god, I'm gonna try to finish uh, killing this silver fish and collecting all these cobwebs here. <laughs> Be right back. Okay, so I finished collecting all the cobwebs and I got almost three stacks. I got two stacks in 59 and I have spent what maybe 15 minutes tops here. So yeah, cobwebs I guess now it's kind of easy to get. And like I said, this is not even an ideal setup. It, uh, it, it probably there is much better ways than doing this. But yeah, let's go for the last part of the episode now. Aha, uh -huh. okay guys, listen, I, I screwed up. <laughs> you know how we started the episode with like, oh, a block that only eight people have in this netherrack. I was gonna end the episode doing the same thing, but now with uh, sand, three million sand. But yeah, as you can see, I mined a little bit more than three million. Yeah, and only four people in the world have uh, three million sand. Okay, yeah, uh, it, it's not very <laughs> effective now. So we have it to throw away 74 sand, I guess. So this is 36 plus 32 is 68, 69 is 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. Okay, so this one is the, the same, the 3 million. Early. Uh, that's how it works, right? <laughs> Oh boy, it's it's fine. We're just gonna pretend that this is the three million sand. And yeah, I I got a little bit distracted. I blame the lace, and I I might be a little bit more than three million. But yeah, there it is. We ended the the episode with three million sand, and actually. Mind it quite a, a bit here. Gonna be good if we need more TNT. But yeah, I guess that's it for today. <laughs> uh, it's fine. It's so fine. Next episode, we, we do something else. Probably involving crafters. Bye. Ah, I can't even fly. I'm just screwing everything up. Bye. <laughs>